So today I went to this place. You guys probably don't remember it, but it's from this video. It's the place where I made one of my first videos, maybe? It's a field, but in the middle of the field is a big, flat place of concrete. I stood there and I made that video. At that place where I used to go to sit and read and stuff, it's now being demolished. I went there today and it reminded me in a really weirdly cheesy way that I should make the most of what I have. I spent a good amount of time in it, but really not enough for my liking. It made me think of my YouTube videos because I really tried to maintain and keep up this channel, but the problem with that is as I've gotten more subscribers, not a lot, but more than like seven, I've cared more and more what my videos look like and more and more how people react to them and I think this is very toxic and that's kind of my subject today I wrote down a couple things that I want to talk about I wanted this to be kind of like a little comeback to vlogging because I haven't done it in a while and it makes me really anxious because I worry about how I look how the video looks how I'm talking and if I'm talking too fast or if I'm in focus being in focus is one thing that drives me crazy that's why I'm always doing this kind of thing it's because I cannot stand not being in focus it's one of my one of my pet peeves creation <laughs> Creating videos is always kind of weird. The creators on YouTube didn't used to be like this. They didn't used to be someone to look up to. They didn't used to be someone, you know, who was famous and who went on the Ellen show. Like, people people weren't like that. I think it's really crazy that YouTubers are like that now, that they are able to go and be famous and be in commercials and be actors and actresses and gain their fame mostly from YouTube. I'm really glad that YouTube's such a big platform now. Creation, especially in young people, is like really special. We should encourage kids and young people to create more. Even if you don't like art, Phone. I'm gonna murder my phone. I'm gonna murder it. God, okay. Even if you don't like art, even if you don't like writing or, or filmmaking or music, then you can still create something. You can make math problems. Is that what people who like math do? Make math problems? Is that right? I really don't know. You can be on the robotics team, you can do tons and tons of stuff that relate to science and math and other things, but the most important thing is that young people and kids create. My earlier thing about that place being bulldozed, if I don't take the time that I have to create and to make what I should be making as a teenager and getting it all out right now, then I'm gonna regret it later. I'm already regretting the few weeks I haven't been doing videos because I feel like I owe it to myself to create something, to make something of this channel, to make something of myself. That's why it's always gotten under my skin when old people are like kids these days with, with, why is my go-to stereotype for old people like a smoking man? When old people are like, oh, kids these days with Facebook and Twitter, it's like, yes, I tweet dumb things. Exactly, I'm a dumb teenager. And that's why giving teenagers the opportunity to create is one of the most important things in the world. If I didn't have a place to put what I love, I think I'd go crazy. Like, having other people see your stuff helps you reach a bigger audience if that's what you want. One thing on this topic that I've always thought about is Vine. I did address this on another video. On the one hand, there are lots of dumb, racist, sexist Vines out there. Actually, a majority of Vine. I do see a lot of people on Vine who are doing artistic, creative, funny, original videos that are, that are seriously genuine, and I love that. Even if it's just six seconds, it still fosters a lot of creativity in young people and gives them a place to create, a place to like get out everything that's in their head, and I think that's great. Look, okay, hold on. This book. I know I kind of sound like a jerk when bringing up Catcher in the Rye in a discussion about Vine. I, I really do sound like a jerk. That's not that's not a kind of situation. I really do. But either way, it still applies. Holden, the main character, if you haven't read it, Holden's the worst. He just complains and he's a jerk. And he's a rich preppy kid from a preppy school who wanders around New York wondering if he's gonna die. What kind of book is that? And that's what's important about creating. If stupid Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye had just, I don't know, like made an art project, maybe he would have felt that some of his problems would have been easier to deal with. Creation is good for teenagers and the art we make may be meaningless and the tweets we tweet might be stupid, but at least we're making something of ourselves. That's why YouTube's important to me is because I enjoy making videos. Even if no one listens, I still want to get it out. It still gives teenagers like me a chance to make dumb videos at 12 o'clock at night. Right? To end this video, I'd just like to thank you guys for like sticking with me. I know it's been a while and I know I haven't made a video in like forever. And I do mean forever. It's been forever, at least in my head. School's hard, life's hard, but I got through it a year ago. So I believe in myself and I think I can do this one. If you guys have any suggestions for videos you want me to make, comment them. Oh, 
I'm going to MAGFest again. February 18th through the 21st, I'll be going to MAGFest in DC again with my friends Lizzie and Maddie. I'm super, super excited. We're gonna go see NSP live. I can't wait. Thanks for holding on throughout this weird preachy video I made you guys. I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad to be making videos. Hope you enjoyed the video.